Hey guys, it is Thursday, May, no, June 13th, 2013. I installed the water pump that I was missing when I was trying to do this a couple, a week or so ago. Started putting some of the timing components in, took the camshaft caps off, the cams out, so I could put all the rest of the lifters in and rocker arms. I got a head gasket between. I'm only going to snug these bolts up so I can take a measurement. I did put the putty back on. It's on there too. So, and then I'll take the head back off. When you buy MLS gaskets or multi layer steel gaskets, you want to buy two. Always buy two. Because you're going to want one in case the other one gets messed up in this process. Personally, I'm going to use this one for measurement. And the other one, I'm going to put in for final assembly. When I do final assembly, I'm going to lock tight the studs in. That way I know this won't come undone when the engine's running. I'm getting really excited to finally get this thing started. I do have an announcement. I will start building more 428 blocks like mine. The only difference is that the crankshaft is no longer available. So. If you want a custom crank, that's a $4,000 bargain deal. Uh, it also has to send in a mock-up or basically a template crank. Let's say just one out of the block to send it in and have it measured out and then increase the throw on it. Other than that, uh, I got back from Iowa just yesterday. Those of you I met, I'm happy to have met. And I wish and hope that you would continue to follow my YouTube channel and keep subscribing. And keep watching all the videos. Okay, so let's get down to business. I have installed new head alignment dowels. Like I said, the gaskets are already in between. I'm only going to snug these. I'm not going to go full throttle on these. So I'm just going to snug, snug. And then your head sequence is shown, so you start from the center out, go from center two, and then you go in a crisscross pattern. And then I'll go back and re-snug these again. Just so I know they're in all correct. It'll be fun tonight. I will also show you tonight how to set up your solid lifters. I did figure out a way how to do this. Basically just take a mild steel like I have. Uh, it can be a bar, solid bar or just a square tube like I have here. And all you're going to do is you're just going to set your magnetic plate here and then the dial indicator. Like I said, I'm only snugging these. I'm not cranking on these. I'm just going back and forth on it. The reason why I follow is the tightening sequence because I don't want to warp this head. If I warp this head, it means I have to remill it and then change its timing. Because you have to, when every 20,000 events, you mill off the head. It changes your, it retards your timing by one degree. I believe that spec is correct. I'd have to double check. I'm not totally right. And that may also have to change the head gas. It would change the combustion or combustion chamber CC. And I don't like messing with that. But it comes to the territory when you build around these. Trust me. It's true.
Hang on, I just had that thing. Where did I put that thing? So. Okay, so now I'm going to take all my solid lifters. This, this is a kit for an SRT forehead, but they are actually identical. So this is your solid lifter. It's not hydraulic. This is uh, coated for anti go on top. And it's uh, aircraft grade quality steel, so it's an alloy. Basically, you up and down, and then you lock, lock it down. Basically, it's kind of like, what do you use? I'll use a Toyota, for example. The older Toyotas, they use a similar design, except they put the adjuster in the, in the rocker arm. I was going to use Honda, but <laughs> I piss on Hondas. But, which reminds me, I beat a Honda Prelude at Street Tuner Mayhem. Had no chance. He rode a faster time than I did on my window, but he was slower, much slower. He didn't know what time he was going to run. Plus, I got, I blacked out, which means I went faster than time I rode, so I was disappointed. But I walked a little bit on Honda, and I'm proud of it. I don't care if I got blacked out or not. I walked that Honda like no other. And I'm happy to. Now that's the other thing that reminds me. I got offered street race in Iowa by a group of three guys that hand me next to a truck. I'll tell you now, I don't street race. I don't play with my life. I'd rather do it in a controlled environment where I know the paramedics are on standby. I don't play with my life like that. I do track only. No, it's still fun track only. Just don't have to worry about cops. It's the only thing you don't have to worry about. Okay, that's those. Oh, and the uh, the other thing that's coming up in about a week or two is a uh, uh, High Plains Raceway. Uh, I believe it's June 23rd. It's uh, open lapping day with. Willie B from KVPI. Uh, you find information on uh, KVPI's website or on highplainsraceway.com. All sources are copyrighted. I do not own any of the sources, so keep that in mind. These are upgraded PT Cruiser style. Camp followers, they're also rocker arms, basically, what they are. So, that's basically what these are. They're much stronger, they hold together better, and I do suggest these. There's actually a recall on these, on the factory ones that are not the upgraded. I've done a campaign on them. It recalls me out for years, though, so. I haven't had any problem with mine and stock engine I have. But just to be sure I'm going with these. I was trying to look for something better, something that's like alloy. Something alloy-ish kind of. But they don't make it, so I'm sticking with what I have. What I can get. The nice thing about the solid lifters, they're from an SRT4, and the heads are practically identical in parts, but the way the oil passages and galleys meet up is a little bit different. You want to watch out for that. I had a PT Cruiser do that to me. Brand new short block, and uh, guess what? Heads didn't, the oil passages didn't line up, so it was leaking like a sieve. That was at work, though. So. Alright, so I put all the camp followers in. I'm just going to try to push these down as far as I can. So when I adjust them up, 
I don't have to put them very far. And I'm not trying to fight them when I put the cams in either. I'm trying to get them down as far as possible. If you would like, I don't know if I've said this already before, but if you would like an engine like mine, uh, just send me a message and we'll talk. Uh, minimum bid price is, I want to say, eight grand. And if you want an engine exactly like mine, it's going to cost you upward of 13 grand. That's all the parts I've used, all the machine work. Plus the crank I have you can no longer get. So if you want a custom crank, you have to send a template crank and four thousand dollars. I have a template crank here already with me, but it's kinda beat up from when I took it to get timing notches machined correctly into this new crank I have. So I'm just ranting and ranting. The other thing, if you want the total setup package that I'm going to be doing, it's about 20 grand. That includes a transmission swap conversion kit, which I still have to do to mine. And that's not actually very too hard to do. So, okay, so lifters and rocker arms are around, so. Here's the exhaust cam. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this in here a little bit. There. And I'm also going to put a little lube into it because I did take out whatever was in there. So I want to use mine. All I'm going to do is do a little bit. I'm not going to use a lot of this. This stuff goes a long way. Just enough to. Because this head's going on today and the bag's going back over. So it's not going to be sitting in my room anymore. Like it has been for the last year and a half. Yep, it's in a certain way. And then you will torque these down in a torque pattern. That is a definite must. A little bit here. Because if you don't, you're going to warp the cans, and that's not going to be a good day. Trust me, you do not want to do that. Cans, these. Stage 2 turbo grind cams cost upwards of $450. That's not something you want to play with. Okay, so caps are going to go on 
all these caps, they are marked which one, they say one left, one